Hi, this is Coach Tony Morgan of the Massiveful Engineer Program. And today's bottle what we're looking at is a Potterton Suprema 30. And we're just going to go through the boiler sequence. This particular boiler, this Potterton Suprema, is a heat only boiler. So it's connected to a cylinder. And other boilers, you've got heat only, you've got a system boiler. A system boiler is similar to this, but it has an expansion vessel inside it. And it's for a seal system only. And then you've got your combination boiler. So there are your three types of boilers. On this particular boiler, it's on a fully pumped system. So we've got a motorized valve, a mid position valve. That's a wire plan. And we're just going to go through what happens. Here you've got a timer for hot water and heating. That needs to be on both channels for hot water and heating. You can have your room thermostat, which has got the column for heat. And you can have your cylinder thermostat also calling for heat. Them two thermostats will then send the signal to your motorized valve, mid position valve. The valve will open via a motor. The motor will turn and activate a micro switch, which is on the orange wire which is a switch live. The switch live will then come to the boiler and it will connect onto one of these, it's difficult to show you, but the switch live will come in and activate the boiler. Once the switch live is sent into the boiler, it will go through the thermos, um, PCB Inside the boiler, you'll have a temperature sensor. The temperature sensor then tells the PCB to activate the ignition sequence. At the same time, the pump is also activated. Depending on how it's wired, on this particular boiler, it's not, the pump is not connected directly to the boiler. You can see the pump there. In some cases that's connected so the pump is fed directly from the boiler. But in this particular case the pump is connected to that orange which I mentioned before, that switch live. So the boiler and the pump are activated at the same time. So the sensor and I forgot to mention the overheat stat are satisfied. That goes to the board starts the fan running providing the air pressure switch is in the correct position then the fan will run then that will then in turn make the air pressure switch send the signal back to the board the board then will send the spark and at the same time activate the gas valve the gas valve opens the spark lights a gas then you've got ignition the flame detection probe detects the spark and the flame, that's okay, and then the ignition can continue. And then the burner runs and the boiler's working. So that's a sequence of events on this particular boiler. So that's it from me. I'll see you in the next video, and thank you for watching.